Hello, this is David with entry number 517, I think, um, here in the sleepy little neighborhood of Tanjong Katong. This is kind of this area. It's, it's, that's what the name of this area is, but I think the neighborhood is actually called Mount Batten. Um, it's a very nice, uh, very I should say gentrified area. Um, this area in particular is quite sleepy. Um, there's no one else on the streets currently. And I'm walking just by these very large, massive houses. Um, it's something of note because I haven't actually seen houses in Singapore. Is, it's quite rare, I suppose. So, um, yeah, it's uh, nice though. I thought I'd record because I know this is two in a row, but uh, days are numbered here, literally, so I wanted to just maybe do as many little videos as I can before my time's up. And uh, so I just finished eating. I went all three. The reason, oh look, I don't know if this is going to let me see it, but there's a little lizard right there on the, on the fence. Uh, <laughs> um, the, uh, I just went out. The reason I came out to this uh, neck of the woods is uh, I wanted to have my favorite thing in Singapore, my favorite food, which is called um, Hokkien Ni. And uh, it's basically like fried noodles with lots of seafood and, um, and good stuff. And uh, it's a really, really, I don't know how to describe it. It's a very rich, rich and uh, dish although it's not like rich as in creamy or rich as in fatty or rich as in super oily although it is a bit oily it's a very rich dish in flavor um, there you know a lot of people talk about uh, umami and this is one dish where there is loads of umami um, and it's it's Chinese style dish meaning that it's like fried noodles but um, it's not I wouldn't say it's a typical Chinese style dish because the noodles are not fried in soy sauce and and stuff it's actually I don't think there's any soy sauce involved and it's mostly just the freshness of the ingredients that really pull through and make it something special I apologize for the noise there's construction going on to my left and stuff going on traffic on my right so apologize if it was hard to hear but uh, the dish is phenomenal and this place uh, in particular is uh, the best and um, it's just a tremendously good good dish and you know I got a six dollar portion which is typically reserved for for two people but um, I ate the whole thing by myself which I have on like three occasions now um, it's very good though and if you ever come out to Singapore that's like the one thing that I think you have to eat is this thing this hooky and me because it's so damn good I'm now on my way back to uh, back to civilization back to the main part of the city and um, I'm going to be going to the uh, the Singapore flyer I believe is what it's called which is like a um, a very large Ferris wheel <laughs> and typically I wouldn't I wouldn't really pay for something like that but uh, I was given a free ticket by by the owner of the hostel Mike and uh, so I thought I might as well use it today's the last day I can use it so I might as well uh, but yeah that's about it had a good day very really solid it's really hot right now um, and uh, yeah, I think I might take the bus back in because why not? And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. I know this one was a bit short, but I just really wanted to more document my feelings towards the, uh, the food I just ate because it is, it is that good. <laughs> if you ever get a chance, you should try it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.